I find the blade the elders gave me hidden behind the furnace, and it finds my guest. As the squidden of their belly tears open, they show no sign of pain nor protest. The mark that I create runs like a twisted smile from the base of their ribs down to one hip, and I begin to drool. Hi there, and welcome to another episode of Hula Noob Plays Short Horror Video Games. I actually wanted to play a long horror video game, but then I realized, oh, downloads take time. So, uh, <laughs> with no further ado, uh, today I'm playing Husk. And um, that is a game, I think, that um, is a creepy horror game in a haunted house. Um, but without jump scares, which apparently is something that more and more developers um, really try to do deliberately, which is kind of cool. Because as someone who gets scared, but also annoyed by jump scares, um, I appreciate <laughs> every spook that is earned. Because honestly, there's jump scares that earned their jump scare, you know, the, the effect, but most of them don't. Because it's just a little boof, and that's it, you know, and... It doesn't really take a lot. You have it has a lot to do with the right timing, and you know expectations to create a really good jump scare or to be scary without. So yeah. Um. So the story is you've just inherited the state of your distant relative, Doctor Haig Shaw who disappeared nearly a century ago. His home has been abandoned for decades and the real estate company refuses to send any more appraisers. How rude! They insist that you go and clear out the property yourself. What's the big deal? What happened to the appraisers? Oh, so there's already been some. And what's that scraping sound coming from the walls? Yeah. So it's it's the usual. There's not the the um, keyboard and mouse controls look super easy for me. It's basically W A S D and E to interact, which I like. That that means I can't run. <laughs> I like when I when I don't have to run. And the game was developed by Michael Wolf or Michael Wolf, depending on whether he's German or not. It's a German name, but there's been a lot of Michael Wolfs in America. I know that. Not because I know them personally, um, but isn't John Wolf from Think Critically? He's also a wolf, so apparently that's it's a very common name in America. So yeah, um, <clears throat> let's start the game. Also, you can die in this game. I've read in the comments, so I will die in this game. <laughs> oh! Noise! I like it. That's the kind of details. I kind of like them. Like small, small details that make it feel, you know, very professional. Like someone looks at the small stuff and thinks about it. So, E. Dear Miss Andy Scholl. I, oh, good nail polish. I like the color. Uh, I appreciate you making the journey to see your inheritance for yourself. As you can tell, the manor was once a lavish place. With a little work, this property will be ready to go on the market. The only obstacle is the collection of personal effects in the basement. Their presence has been off-putting for the inspectors I hired. Once you get rid of the items, they should have no more problems doing their job. According to my previous contact, there should be a key somewhere in the upstairs study. Once you're done, give me a call and I can head over with the inspector the next day. I look forward to hearing back from you. Good luck. What I don't get, really, honestly, if I, you know, were to inherit an old villa, which I will never, I will never. Oh, what's that? Why would I go alone? Why wouldn't I take a friend so we can, like, have fun with it? My efforts haven't gone unnoticed. The treatment I provided for the elder's child has taken hold. And his parents, the elders, I mean, obviously if it's the elder's child, um, they have invited me, oh, it's because it's, ooh, it's the elders. They have invited me to a highly exclusive event as a token of their appreciation. Ah, oh, you died, probably, you got killed. Of course I will accept, I must. It's my chance to take a seat with the other big names in the city. Ah, uh, is it one of those cults? rich cults that sacrifice poor people there's so many out there oh out of tune well i can't play anyway so it doesn't really matter that's the weird window it's just miles of trees in all directions but that would be my dream house i don't want to live anywhere oh i mean in walking distance 
And with walking distance, I mean like half an hour, an hour walking is fine to reach stuff. It's probably closed. Yeah. It's locked. Yeah, we knew that. I mean, the basement is where the worst things happen. Wait, where did I come from? Um. Oh, through the door. Oh, God. <laughs> That's also why I would take someone with me in case I get lost in a corner. The handling feels very good. I like it's not too hectic. I like that. Oh, I can't open that. Okay. This was all some terrible mistake. Oh, that's me in every gameplay. I never should have want wanted. I never should have gone. The elders are depraved people. The way they spoke this night. The way they laughed at the flesh of blood. It was inhuman. Yet I too laughed wickedly. <laughs> I was trying out different types of wicked laughter. But they were all just annoying. Which is wicked in its own way. Joined in their chants and incantation. I said it! <laughs> Rich people's cult. And incantations. There was something in the room with us. I could feel it. I saw it, but I don't remember its appearance. The order said I should return. That I had more to learn. That also rhymed. Was that intentional? Okay. Oh no! Oh no. Um, what does 2 or 4 mean? Does the light run out? That would be good. There's a key. I like this. Oh, also look at this. Claws. That's probably the thing that was with them when they did the incantations. I like I like that this is like kind of drawn. That's probably unique, right? It looks unique. Wait a minute. Power's out. Look, I'm just realistic and that's what you do. You always, even though, why should it work when you do it the fifth time? But you do that. That's what people do. It's the same when they, you know, push opening buttons in the train on the elevator like a thousand times. Because cause surely it will, you know, <laughs> it will work if you push it just often enough. That's a weirdly placed window. Also, it's raining. Also, can I use this? No, I can't. Yeah, this is funny because <laughs> this is such a s short window, but it looks like... Oh, it's probably just because so it's in height. I thought this... Um, what is it? The thing in front of the window. I'm sorry, I'm not a mother tongue. <laughs> to put it down, I thought it would go down until here. But no, uh, this is super boring. Co oh. This was super boring commentary. <laughs> Because who cares? Who cares about the blinds? It's the blinds. Also, that was creepy. I mean, I've seen the screenshot. I've seen the screenshot. Oh, no. Oh, that's the pillar. Oh! No. What? Oh, I have to run away. I thought, oh. Oh, no. I have to start again. Oh. Hmm. So I have to run away? Oh. Do I have to do this again? Yeah, apparently I do. Oh, that was the letters and not the... I thought the numbers... Oh god, and it's, it's just right there. I thought the numbers were for the flashlight and was just confused. How in the world am I supposed to finish the... No, this is... <laughs> I thought this was the buck, the buck thing. So, but how do I do this? I can't crouch or anything. All right, people. I'm. I don't have the patience. If I die over and over again, I'm not admirable when it comes to dying a lot and still continuing on. I give up so easily. Everyone who has seen me play the two maze games I played so far, and I'm quite sure they will be the last ones, knows that. It looks like someone was thrown into this. How do you see... I mean, how would you know that someone was thrown into this as opposed to, like, something else happening with it? Flip. <coughs> oh, 
Okay, but now, well, we can first. Just, you know, because... Oh, but if I have to, cont like, always do this... Uh, how often will I... Oh, this will be an editing game where I have to edit a lot. Okay. No! I mean, why not? Why not? Oh, no! The glass broke from the inside. Okay. <gasps> no! Ooh. I did not like this. I don't... I don't want this. This doesn't make me happy. Oop. Okay. <sighs> okay. Um, oh. Uh, can I close this? No? Why can't I? I have the key. I should be able to close this and just, you know... Be done with, with the beast. No! No! Go away! Leave me alone! Am I safe here? It's some sort of ritual circle? Am I safe here? Please? <laughs> <laughs> I cannot keep forgetting the ebony star that heals mm, that heals seals the speaking wound the crimson calling the thirst that binds us to our bodies the spell of gold that I must deny deny and remember deny and I can still hear them they're chanting it makes me sick but I'm part of this now they it is a part of me now oh that's the the doctor going no no I mean, I couldn't have run away. Hmm. So I got three or four documents. Am I safe here? Is this... Can I... St I can't just stay here. Start a new life. On the circle. <laughs> no! 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 <laughs> no, I'm so scared. Oh god. <laughs> Why am I such a scaredy cat? Nothing can happen. Oh, I hope it ha it it saved when I opened the basement door. So the game gives me a little bit of leeway when I hear the monster. I keep having this dream. A patient has come to me with some melody as they lay across my table for reasons that I don't know. I find the blade the elders gave me hidden behind the furnace and it finds my guest. As the squid of their belly tears open, they show no sign of pain nor protest. The mark that I create runs like a twisted smile from the base of their ribs down to one hip and I begin to drool. Its tongue emerges and it speaks such familiar words so close to understanding so go up to the furnace I guess bug don't you dare don't you dare wait um I should be able I should be safe no but that's the furnace Hmm, can I do something here? No. <laughs> oh no! 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 Leave me alone. I think it can come upstairs. Didn't it disappear upstairs? And I think that those are like the safe spots. Hmm. So, oh, oh! I just got stuck. Oh God! Wait. <laughs> I'm just. I think I'm a very. Oh no 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 no! I'm a very thankful player. 
Oh. So it doesn't like light, does it? Is that it? That I have to point my... Can I test my theory? Ha ah ha! Okay. Oh, but that was mean! Like... Oh, there's the furnace. Okay. So now? What can I do now? Oh no! Um... Hmm... Maybe the, the picture... That feels natural. Because it's the only thing that... No? No! 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 But... <laughs> so it wasn't all God. No, why am I going here? I don't want to... Hmm... Go away! Which body? Which body yaddy yaddy? Hmm... Did I miss a body? Excuse me? Where? Okay, it's gone. Oh! <laughs> oh, no, I feel sorry for it. Maybe, maybe they just didn't know what they were doing. Maybe they just wanted to ask how to get out of the house. I win! Oh, I like this though. I really like that. Um, short, nice little cute story. And here's the thing, with the two maze games I played, um, sorry, oh Jesus. Why I also died, but I died like more than once and also was kind of frustrating because nothing really, I don't know, it didn't really feel like, I, I didn't really want to continue because I didn't, have the feeling that it would be rewarded. And with this game, and it shows you, it's not that many notes, it's four notes that tell the story. So you don't have to really write a whole novel to, um, you know, get a little bit of backstory going. Um, a good thing is also, if you give your players ways to get rid of the monsters just for a while, or the big bad, um, it will be much more rewarding you know to try again and to and to learn and uh to kind of explore because i played one game one maze game where i really couldn't there were so many creatures running around and i couldn't do anything but run away but because there were so many it wasn't even just one it was a lot so it was just me constantly running i couldn't explore anything i completely lost direction and it was <laughs> For me personally, it wasn't a very pleasant experience. But with this game, because you have a very, you have a small room, you know, this this cute little house, um, you have ways to defeat the creature. And even I got it. I mean, I only died once and I got how to defeat the creature, which tells me that the, um, the intuition or the, w the how the w game tells you what to do is, is very intuitive, that it really works well, even with you know, a doofus like I am. So <clears throat> I kind of enjoyed that you had several small things you could interact with. And in that way, I didn't even have to run around for ages to figure out what to do with the knife, for example, because there were only so many things, you know, that were kind of a possibility. And I like that as well. So this game is a really great example how to create a very short very lovely spooky also i was scared um i mean it doesn't take much <laughs> to be quite honest it takes a lot when i'm watching horror movies when i play horror games i'm so immersed i immediately i get scared at myself which i think we've we've seen because i got scared by bumping into something anyways <clears throat> 
but it was spooky it told a story it it showed you what to do um and it was fun this is how you do it it really that's how a good indie horror game works even if you die in the game because i usually prefer games where i can't die i want to cheat the system i want to live forever um but with a game like this where you can die i enjoy it the way it did it so a hard recommendation you can try it out yourself i put the link in the liner notes which is somewhere around here where whatever or if i'm if it's embedded somewhere like if you watch this on itch.io then you probably have to click on the small youtube button and then you can like this video you can comment on it and you can subscribe to my channel wow that's a hat trick honestly that's a win-win-win situation anyways <laughs> i hope you had fun with this i had um, I hope you had uh, fun with me and well, I also hope you have a wonderful time, a great day, take care of yourself and uh, bye bye bye. This is my self-recorded outro song so I don't get hit with copyright claims. If you subscribe, you subscribe to a lot of fun tutorials, reviews and let's plays.